results, the analysis, and the reaction from across the country. Now, with the polls about to close, in Quebec, in Ontario, in Manitoba, in Saskatchewan, in Alberta, in Nunavut, and the Northwest Territories. Special coverage of Election Night 2015 continues. This is Canada Votes on CBC. From our Election Night headquarters in downtown Toronto, we're in fact in the Barbara Frum Atrium of the CBC Broadcasting Centre in downtown Toronto. Look down, look way down, and that's where we are. That's our election night set here for tonight, and what a story that is unfolding. I'm Peter Mansbridge. So far, the story tonight is a massive red wave in the Atlantic provinces. A clean sweep so far. Liberals leading or elected in all 32 ridings in Atlantic Canada, plus the one in Quebec that's on Atlantic Canada time. Will that momentum continue? Is this race about to get a lot tighter or turn altogether? We're about to find out because millions and millions of votes will now be counted in 262 of this country's 338 ridings. Those ridings stretch all the way, as you just saw, from Quebec to Alberta and include two of the territories. So we may soon know which leader has led his party to victory and whether it's a minority or majority federal government. Welcome to the Barber from Atrium, as we said. We're looking forward to telling you this story over the next couple of hours. It's really just the next couple of minutes that will make the decision on whether or not we're heading to one particular party or another in terms of government. We should find that out within the next 30 to 45 minutes based on the early returns coming out of that huge swath of ridings. Now, let's have a look at these pictures that have just come in to us. The happiest man in Canada at the moment, Justin Trudeau with his family. That's his wife, Sophie, and the three kids. They were watching the results coming out of Atlantic Canada. Uh, let the cameras sneak in there for a few moments to give us a sense of what's uh, happening inside the uh, Trudeau suite at the Queen Elizabeth Hotel. I'm assuming that's where he is in downtown Montreal because that's where the party will be either celebrating or saying, what happened? We did so well in Atlantic Canada. What's happened here? Yes, that is Margaret Trudeau, the uh, former wife of the uh, late Pierre Trudeau, who was prime minister, of course, from 1968 to 1984, with one exception in 1979, when he was defeated in the federal election that year by Joe Clark. So the Trudeau family uh, so watching the results coming in in Montreal. Uh, Wendy Mesley has got the first results coming out of this part of the province, and it's yeah. here where we finally see the Conservatives getting back on the board. Wendy. Well, obviously, Peter, the uh, Liberals are doing well in the Atlantic region, but if they're going to form a government, they need to pick up seats in Quebec. A lot of seats. They only got seven last time. We have very early results coming in. This is Megantic, L'Erable. This seat was held by the Conservatives. Very, very early results. It looks like a tight race here. And this is the story we're going to be watching tonight. This used to be held by Christian Paradis. Luc Berthold is a, is a new fella. And